Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, I assume you saw the first video in this series where we modeled this guy, and if not, check out the link below. In uh, this video, we're gonna be doing parent rigging, okay? And uh, stay tuned because there are gonna be two videos more. We're gonna do uh, joint rigging as well, and in the final video, we're gonna be doing animation, okay? So let's uh, jump in and have some fun. Here we go. All right, guys. Well, as mentioned in uh, the intro, uh, in this video, we're going to be doing a parent rig. Um, this is the second video in a series of four videos. First one, we did a modeling. This video, we're going to do a parent rig. Third video, we're going to be do rigging using joints. And in the fourth video, we're going to be doing animation of this character. Okay. Now, I did a little copy of this guy so you can see two different poses typically used in the industry. The one on the left is called a T pose and the one on the right an A pose based on the shape of the character and the way it's standing. And that said, before we get into the rigging, what we need to do is we need to clean up the scene and make sure that everything makes sense, okay? Now, I uh, don't need the A pose character for now, so I'm gonna go into my outliner and I'm just gonna hit H to hide it. And we're gonna be working with this guy, okay? So I call it a parent rig character T-pose, this guy. All right. Now, if we open up that uh, whole thing in the, um, in the outliner here, and uh, I'll just show you what's going on quite a bit. And I'm doing it this way for a reason, because I want you to see exactly what this is. And you probably know that song, you know, the leg bone connected to the hip bone and whatnot. That's basically what this is. So what do we got? We got a group, which is this, that contains everything. And then you see everything down here in a hierarchy. Now, first of all, what I did is I went in and I uh, named everything. That's pretty important because if you are working in a group, uh, in a team, in a studio or whatnot, people need to know what's what. Now, if this is all called polycube one, two, three, four, five, and so on, it doesn't make sense. So you go in, you double click on a certain component. In this case, I called it R for right underscore hand. Now, um, you can argue whether this is his right hand or his left hand. Uh, the way we are looking at it, it's his right hand. Regardless of what method you use, uh, obviously you need, to make you need to make sure that when you're working in a group, you all have the same understanding, okay? So this is facing the character, his right hand, okay? So once everything is named, what you need to do next is, and this is extremely important, make sure that the history of everything is deleted and make sure that you freeze transformations. Now, what I'm gonna do to demonstrate this, because I don't wanna mess with this right now, I'm gonna do a quick mock-up of a character so I can take you through the entire process, show you how to parent and so forth, okay? And we're just gonna work with this guy, okay? So um, this guy is has all these components. Now, first of all, what I want is um, to be able to have a group of all of this stuff, right? So I'm gonna drag select everything. I'm gonna hit Control G to group it, which will create group one. I'm gonna double click on that, and I'm gonna call this test dummy, all right? Now, uh, that's cool. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna close all that other stuff. So I got my test dummy right here, and it has a bunch of components that don't make sense. Poly cylinder one and so forth. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna go in and call this left underscore leg, okay? So we named all that stuff. Uh, one more little thing I need to do here because it's kind of odd to not have any feet, and it wouldn't make sense to have ankles without feet, okay? So we're gonna create a foot, we're gonna move it in, and move it over, and we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate, move that over as well, and there you have it. 
Now let's uh, name these guys too. So that is going to be our right foot, not foot, foot. And that is going to be our left foot. Come on. Seems that my keyboard is uh, acting up. Okay, so we got all that, right? So if we select our group, we got everything and we've got everything named, which is cool. Okay, so what's the next step? Well, I want to be able to, uh, let's actually add these two feet in here. They're not part of the group and this middle mouse click and drag and now they are. Okay, so if we select the group here, we've got everything, okay. So what I want to be able to is to pick up my uh, my guy here and move it anywhere I want. Okay. So first I got everything selected. We're going to go edit and delete by type history to get rid of all the, you know, history. And then we're going to go to modify and freeze transformation, meaning that every object is now zeroed out on its current location. So if I hit the arm and open up the attribute editor and go in, uh, you will see zero, zero, zero on translate. If I move it around, there you go, set it to zero and it's back. So that's good. So we're going to close that out and I'm going to create a control for this guy so we can move him around. So we're going to go to create, we're going to go to nerve primitives and let's do a circle. I'm going to hit R and I'm going to make that nice and big on the floor. And we went a bit down here. So let's uh, put it here. I'll just go to display and turn off my grid. So let's say this is a uh, ground control to Major Tom. Okay. There you go. You probably have to be quite old to understand that one. Okay. So we got that. Now, um, how do we do that? Well, we're going to take our group and we're going to shift select our circle. Now, when you do parenting, what you do is you first select the child in the relationship, which is in this case, the dummy. And then you shift select the parent in this relationship with this, and that's the control. So if I now hit P on my keyboard and I select the curve here, the nerve curve circle, there you go, I can move it around. So that is how simple that is. Okay, so now this circle is the boss, if you will. Okay, so I can move it around. Now, what do I need to do to make sure that I can parent all the components? Well, what you need to do is you need to make sure that when I select an individual component here, right, especially the circles or the spheres, because they are controlling everything, that the pivot point is centered. And I'll show you what I mean. So if we want these uh, feet to be parented to the ankles, what you do is you would, and I'll just open all of this up here so you can see what's going on. I would select the foot, right? And I would shift select the ankle because that's gonna be the parent of this relationship. If I hit P on my keyboard, right? And I now select the ankle and hit E to rotate, where the ankle goes, the foot goes. Well, th that's true. However, if the pivot point of this circle is not centered, so let's hit the insert key, move the pivot point over here. Okay, hit it again. So let's say I'm gonna do this and then shift select this and hit P to parent. And I wanna rotate it, uh, hang on, take this guy. I wanna rotate it, look what's going on here. That's not good at all, right? So we're gonna go back and now we've got our pivot point centered as it should and we're going to do this again so select that select that hit p on our keyboard now we can select this and it works properly okay so let's continue to parent this stuff so this foot is parented to this ankle we're going to select the ankle and shift select this guy hit p on our keyboard select this guy shift select this guy hit p on our keyboard select and shift select hit P on our keyboard. Same at the other end, these two are already done. This one and this one, hit P, that one and that one, and then that one and that one. All right, and then what else? We got this guy needs to be parented to this. This needs to be parented to this. Same here, this is controlled by this. This is controlled by this. And then finally, this is controlled by this, and this is controlled by 
this. So now everything is parented. So I can go in and see the entire hierarchy right now. Okay. And that's what I was showing you before. So let's see if we got everything here. Yeah, there you go. So that's how that works. So let's say I want to move the entire right leg. I would take this guy and I would move the entire right leg. Let's say I just want to move the foot. There you go. Let's say I want to move the arm. There you go. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to uh, hide our test dummy. Uh, let's go to um, display and show all. And we'll take our test dummy and we'll just hide him for a sec. Okay, and we'll do, we'll hide this as well. Okay, so this has a little bit more detail to it. We'll, uh, we'll hide the A-pose guy. This is a little bit more detail to it, so it kind of makes more sense. So how we are going to animate this thing later on is, for example, let's say I want to bend the knee. I'm going to select this um, hip joint. I'm going to move this. Then I'm going to go in and take the knee joint, move that. Oops, make sure I got the sphere. There you go. Bring it back. And then let's say I want to move that foot down like so. So that's how you would do that. Let's say I want the arm to come in. I would take that shoulder joint. I would bring it in. I would take this guy. Again, the sphere. I would move that. I would take this one and I would move it again. So that's how you would do that. Now, we don't have controls for this guy, which is kind of tedious because as you saw, you know, in uh, um, in this little demonstration, I already clicked next to it twice. You don't really want that, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our T-Pose guy and I'm gonna go to create, we're gonna go to NURBS uh, primitives and let's take a circle. And let's see if this guy is zeroed out. Yeah, we moved it over to the left. So we need to move it here. We need to hit R to scale that up. Have a look from the top, make sure it looks okay. Yeah, not bad. We're gonna check it from the height. That seems to be okay. And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna take our character. We're gonna shift select this guy, hit P on your keyboard. So the, um, let's make sure the pivot point is centered here. Hang on guys. Let's go to edit, delete by type history and modify and freeze transformation. There you have it. Then take your guy, take your circle and parent that. So now I can take this and move it around. Now, what if I want to have additional controls? Instead of clicking on the spheres for the elbows and so forth, what you can do is go in, create, and let's do a new uh, circle here. Let's move that in, move that up. E to rotate, hold on J. There you go. Let's uh, bring that towards, let's say, the, uh, the elbow here. And uh, let's say we're happy with that position. Like so. What you can do is go to uh, edit, delete by type history, modify, freeze transformation. And again, do not forget that. You will get in trouble if you do. Select this guy, shift select this guy and hit P on your keyboard. So now if I want to move the arm, I can just uh, grab that control, hit E and there you go. So that's how that works, guys. Well, if you don't want to miss out on the next two videos where we do rigging using joints and animation, then make sure you are subscribed to my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, okay? Well, thank you guys very much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye.